The Fujifilm X100V is easily one of my personal favorite cameras. If you know anything about this camera, you know that the photos that it is capable of taking are breathtaking. There is life and movement in the photos. They almost have a soul in every single photo that you take. And I just adore this camera. But unfortunately, the app, the online experience, specifically the Fujifilm camera mode app, is hot garbage. And I think Fujifilm finally recognized it and changed it for us. Hey guys, Reverend here. Hope you're doing fantastic when you're watching this video. But if you're like me, you're here because you've been beating yourself up. You've been trying to update this camera. You've been trying to make things work and nothing has happened. Uh, specifically, I have been using the Fujifilm camera mode app, uh, just so we're all clear on it. The Fujifilm camera mode app, the green one. If you've been using that app, you might have experienced the same thing I have, which is it's just not working anymore. You can't get your photos to transfer. You can't do live view. You can't do anything. And in the case of this camera, you also cannot update the firmware of your camera. Now that was a big issue for me at first because that's all I've ever done is wirelessly communicate with this camera to my phone. So when I spent literally six to seven hours trying to get my camera to connect, I was ready to throw this thing across the room. That is until of course I got online and I saw that the new firmware was very easy to download. Here's how we're gonna do it. You're simply gonna go to Fujifilm's website. I'll have the exact link below in the description of this video. And you're just gonna scroll down to the download section, download the new firmware update, it's firmware 3.0, and you're going to insert a blank SD card that is formatted to your camera. And you're simply going to drag and drop the firmware onto the SD card, then eject the SD card and put it in your camera. Once you have the SD card in your camera, this is really simple. You're just going to hold down the display and back button right here while turning on the camera. And you're gonna get a menu pop up just like this. Might look a little different. It'll tell you the version of firmware that is on your camera. And if it is not 3.0, it'll tell you what version your camera is. And then you're able to just simply update the firmware from there. Once it's there, turn your camera off, turn it back on, and you're good to go, and you can connect to the new app. Now, I wanted to do this properly, and I wanted to do this live for you all right now, and that is that I am not turned on on the camera, and it is not open on my phone, and I wanna show you how nice and easy this works comparative to the other app, because if you've used the other app, you know the headache that it is. So, simply turning on the camera, and then I'm going to open up the app, you guys can see that it's right here. It's doing its thing. I'll hold this up for you just like this. We are going to press image acquisition. It is asking me if I want to join Wi-Fi. I'm going to press join. And just like that, we're connected. These are photos that I took earlier today. You can see me scroll through there. But also my favorite thing, I'll put this down, my favorite thing is just being able to go to the live view section now, and all of a sudden my camera is ready to go. And you guys can see what I'm doing. Don't look at all those uh, icons on my screen. Jeez, old Pete. But yeah, it really was as simple as that. And I hope that you are not spending the eight hours that I did trying to wirelessly connect and just do the old fashioned route. Put the SD card in, put it in your camera, update the firmware. It is simple and it is so much better. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Guys, my name is Reverend, and I'll see you all in the next one.